Hello, fifth grade students. We're back again with our book, Eyes Open number four, um, Presentation Plus. Now we're going to continue with our classes and we are going to start here in Fable Foot. Well, the idea is to continue. So, for this activity, uh, we are going to start with reading a short online text. Work with a partner, look at the photos. What kind of food can you see in each image? How uh, dangerous do you think they could be and why? No? So let's see here, I have some pictures. No? Peanut, garlic, fugu fish, and the last one is garlic. No? So here, let's see. The order the food from the last dangerous to the most dangerous, for example, can make you cry. Peanuts, peanuts, full fish, garlic or onions. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. No, remember this activity is according to the reading dangerous food. Remember, we've already uh, read this activity. Can burn your skin. Peanut, full fish. Or garlic. Exactly. No, it was the last uh, reading. It was garlic. Can cause a very bad allergic reaction. And can you kill? Is the last one. Yes, the full fish can you kill? Remember? So, peanut is here. Let's see. One, two, three. That's the idea. No, but remember, for this activity, you need to. To know what's on the article, no? What's on the article? You can post the video and I can continue. Okay? Thank you so much. Now let's continue with number three. Read the web page again, copy and complete the table. Let's see. Now here we have food, possible danger and advice. Onions, they can make you Exactly, they can make, make you cry. No, if you like cooking, if you cut onions, they make you cry when you chop them. Advice chop them under. Don't remember, there's no problem. So, here you, you can see. No, uh, everyone knows that chopping onions can make you cry. No, here is the first answer made you cry. It's because onions release a toxic gas when you cut them or fry them. When the gas gets into your eyes, your body produces tears to wash it out. So, next time you chop an onion, do it under a running tap. No, under a running tap. That's a possible answer. Uh, under a running tap okay now what about number two peanuts they are poisonous for there was an special animal and you love so many people love animal i love for example these animals they say wolf wolf aha uh -huh. for dogs okay for dogs and they can cause a bad in some humans don't remember Okay. Did you know that did you know that peanuts are poisonous for dogs and can be various and can be very dangerous for humans too? If you're allergic of them, even the smallest piece of a peanut can cause a very bad reaction. Uh -huh. A very bad reaction no get to a or an as soon as you can let's continue reading get no okay let's see if you if one day you have an allergic reaction to a peanut you will need to get to a hospital get to a hospital 
Class of Class Hospital. The idea is to read the article and complete the answers. So, practice this article, read this article, because in class we're going to continue with full fish and garlic. So, but for this time, we're going to check this part. No, they are right, no? They can make you cry when you chop them. Cry, chop them under a running top. Number two, peanut. They can, uh, they are poisonous for dogs. And they can cause a very bad, I'm sorry, I was forgetting the A, sorry, my keyboard is wrong, okay? My keyboard is the guilty, no reaction. Get on, sorry, get to a hospital, remember? I was forgetting the letter A, as soon as you can, okay? Rea a reaction, okay? But it need to be good written. Now, let's see. Fugu fish and garlic is going to be done in our classes on Friday. So let's continue. Uh -huh. Let's continue with number four. It says word in context. So match the words with the definitions. So remember, the article is the main uh, part of this uh, class, no? Because according to the article, we're going to work. For example, long tubes that uh, takes food from your stomach, allergic, toxic intestines, server, delicacy, in your stomachs, it's like in Spanish, no, intestines, okay, number one, a food which people think is very special, allergic, toxic, severe, delicacy. Uh -huh. Delicacy is related with food, okay? It's a delicacy. It's una delicatessen, I, I mean in Spanish. It's a delicacy. Okay, let's go with number three. Having an extreme reaction to a specific type of food. Reaction toxic, severe, or allergic. Could be allergic, okay? Now, let's see those three. One, two, three. That's right. Okay, number four, number five is for you. Okay, so do it. Remember, we're going to do only half of the activity and we're going to continue in our classes. So the idea is to start, to get ready and to complete in class. Okay, let's see. Your turn as an answer with your partner. So here I have three three questions. Now, are you going to change any of your eating habits after reading this article? Maybe you can say yes or no. Tell me why. For example, say yes because I didn't know that peanut was very dangerous for people or for some people. You can say no, there's no problem. Um I I feed in garlic, onions, and peanut. Full fish? I'm sorry, but full fish is in, I don't know, in, in countries like China, Japan, etc. So, I'm not going to a full, to a full fish restaurant in that, in that place. So, there's no problem. Well, number two. Uh, would you try full fish? Why or why not? Well, it depends, no? You can say yes, you can say no. You can just say yes if I go to Japan. You can say no because it's very dangerous. It depends on you. Do you know about any other foods that can be dangerous? Okay, garlic, peanut, onions, and fugu fish. Anything else? Okay, think about it, no? And then tell me in our class, okay? So, we're going to ask those questions, so try to get your own answers. Now, let's continue with language focus. Number one, first condition with if, when, and unless. So, in this part, you are going to uh, use grammar with first conditional. Remember, when I say first conditional, is that 
the sentence is true. The condition and the consequence. Okay, let's see. Uh, complete the sentences. You are even in Japan and want to try fugu fish for yourself. You'll have to be very careful. No? You'll need to make sure you go to a restaurant that has a fugu certified chef. You want it to be your last supper. I go on holiday this year. I make sure I eat a lot of garlic. Okay, let's see. Here the possible answers are if, unless, um, can you remember the other? No? Okay. If, when, and unless. Remember, if, when, and unless. Teacher, it could be if, excuse me, capital letter, if, <coughs> when, and unless, well, unless. If you are a, a lucky boys and girls, could be a possibility. One, two, three. No, you are not lucky boys or girls. So, look, it's the opposite. Okay, unless, and when. Let's see, one, two, three. Now it's okay. Teacher, but how what? How can I know if, when do I use unless, and when? Okay, first of all, write it on your box. Okay, write down on your box. We're going to continue step by step so you know how to use them. Okay, if, unless, and when. Let's see. Here, no. here we have the key. For example, if, unless, and when. This introduces a situation in the future that you are sure is going to happen. This introduces a situation that is possible in the future, but you are not sure is going to happen. This introduces a situation in the future that means the consequence won't happen. Mm -hmm. So each one has a different idea. No, for example, if 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 you remember the first part, the first sentence. Okay, if introduces a situation in the future that you are sure is going to happen. Okay, unless and when. Unless it's like a menos que. No? And when means cuando. Mm -hmm. This introduces a situation that is possible in the future, but you are not sure it's going to happen. Could be when? I don't know. Unless this introduces a situation in the future that means the consequence won't happen. Okay. Hmm, look. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's do it. So this is here and this is there. Let's see. If this introduces a situation that is possible in the future, but you are not sure it's going to happen. No, it's possible, but you are not sure. Unless this introduces a situation in the future that means that consequence won't happen. So, when you use unless, it's, a, it's not going to happen. No va a suceder. Okay? You're talking about a past, a situation, and a consequence, but it's not going to happen. When this introduces a situation in the future that you are sure is going to happen. Que va a suceder. Okay? Mm, so, this is the key. So, you should uh, memorize this part because it's going to be useful for you. Ne let's see. Remember, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. 
it's possible. Okay, let's see. When she finishes her exam, if she fails the exam, my mom let me go out unless you hurry up. I'll call you this evening if I get home before 10 p.m. And the consequences. He may be really disappointed when I get home. She'll be so happy. I might call you unless I finish my homework. We'll miss the bus. Mm -hmm. So, what about this activity? So, for this activity, you need to remember the, 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 the activity before. When do I use if? When do I use when? And when do I use unless? So, this activity is going to be for our class. So, memorize the first part if you want to complete this activity, okay? Thank you. Now, let's continue. He says, get it right part. Don't use will after if, when, or unless. If you will eat too many carrots, no, 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 no. Your skin will turn on light orange color. No, 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 no. Listen, when you use if, when, or unless, you don't use will. The correct form is, if you eat too many carrots, your skin will turn light orange color. No, it's an idea. But will is not possible here. In the second part, yes. After the comma, yes. Before the comma, no. Also, okay, uh, you need to remember. You need to remember the, 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 the information before. No, this information, excuse me. This information. No. If you don't uh, know this information, this could be impossible. So here, let's see. Here you have an audio. Complete that conversation using if, when, or unless. Or the correct form, and the correct form of the verb in brackets. No? Then listen and check. Okay, I'm going to help you. I'm going to put the audio, and you're going to complete. Okay? CD1. Track 41. Listen and check. Hi, Marie. How's the food going? Do you need any help? Oh, yes, please. If you finish preparing these sandwiches, I'll put the drinks on the table. Anything else? Yes. When the guests arrive, they'll need to put their coats somewhere. Do you think you can do that for me? Yes, sure. We'll put them in your room, on the bed. Unless you want me to put them somewhere else. No, on the bed is great. Oh, and if I get my CD player, will you choose some CDs and put some music on in the living room? Of course. A great party needs great music. Okay. This was the audio. This was for helping you, okay? So you can play the audio many times and you can complete this activity. Then I'm going to ask you in class. Remember, we are not doing many activities as before because I want to do these full activities in our classes, no? Your turn. Organize a special dinner for your friends. You sometimes, sorry, you send us with if, when, and unless, decide who will. Do the shopping, prepare the food, prepare the decorations. If you make the starters, I prepared the main course. There is an example. When the starters are ready, I'll and you continue. I'll unless you want to do it. So these kind of sentences I will show you in class. No? Why? Because in the first in the second say if and when. But unless it's not at the first, it's in the middle. So this is another form of use uh, first conditional, but I'm going to teach you this in class. Well, it's been a pleasure to work with you. It's a pleasure to make this video for you class, uh, Mixos and Jose fifth grade students. Thank you so much. Hope you like it. 
and and just say see you on Friday. So thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care of you. Thank you.